Thanks, Tony. It's time now for some furry friends. Yeah, and this one is a river otter. And though they look like they're not furry, they actually are oh. otters. And it's actually been spotted in the Detroit River for the first time in over a century. Wow. Eric Steve Marie, he's a marine ecologist, spotted the otter and couldn't believe his eyes. River otters are an indicator species acting as a measure on how clean the water is. Wow. Uh, river otters can survive in bodies of water that are dense with pollution, which is why they haven't been seen in over 100 years due to Detroit's alarming amount of pollution in the Detroit River. The rare sighting is the, of the river otter is actually given environmentalists and marine ecologists hope that the Detroit River cleanup efforts over the past decade have been successful and river water is becoming cleaner. And this oh, is a state that, is that water is everything. You know, Flint, Michigan, with, remember course, they were, yeah. I think there's still people boiling their water and it has been nearly five, six, almost a decade since that's going on. So water is a is huge thing. That is incredibly encouraging. It right. is, and, and to see like, hey, there's an otter that's saying something. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like, it's yeah. proof. It's You can see it's Kind of like, I think there were some animals in the um, in Venice during the pandemic. In 2020, okay. people yeah. were seeing some animals in the water and stuff like that, nice so very that. cool. All right, Mitch actually mentioned this story a little earlier. A couple in Tennessee woke up to quite the surprise. Julie Johnson and her husband, Jimmy, typically let their dogs sleep in bed with them. But earlier this month, they woke up to a dog in their bed that had not belonged to their pack. Julie <laughs> took to Facebook where she posted about the missing dog and shared how she had no idea how the pup made its way into their house overnight. The dog named Nala made herself at home by getting cozy in Julie's bed. After posting about the strange encounter, Nala's owners, Chris Hawkins and Felicia Johnson, who live in the same neighborhood, came by to retrieve their furry friend. Neither party seems to know how Nala slipped out of one house and into the other, but it makes for a good story. At least it was a cute dog, not like a grizzly bear. <laughs> it, it, it certainly does. And um, yeah, exactly. Right. Or a man or a drunk or whatever hanging out there. Um, you know, which says a lot about that dog, you know, that it's a number one very quiet bed, but it's also friendly. I mean, right. it's enough to like, all right, well, here looks like a, you know. This looks like a warm place to sleep. Yeah, why not? <laughs> and it tells us how, like how, you mentioned packs at the very beginning. Yeah. It's like dogs they like being in packs yeah. and they go into the bed there. It's interesting to see that sort of thing, but to, I would definitely, if I felt something jumping You'd on freak bed, out. I would wonder what it was. I'd be like, okay, was Well, that imagine in the darkness too. You're yeah. not, you don't see, you might not register in your half sleep state that there's a dog. You just see these like extra eyes that weren't there when you went to I don't, bed. My, How creepy is I that? I have a right? fear. It's funny you <laughs> bring that up. Is that I love my toes to be in play with. It puts me to sleep. And something would have, like, it'd be rats gnawing on it. I'd be all like, ah. yeah, that feels good. That feels good. I wake up, I, I, I always, cause, well, I live a weird life, okay? And now everybody's thinking, what kind of house is he living in? Right. He's worried about rats <laughs> chewing on his toes. Don't worry about it. It's a nice place. We have more Flash coming up.